3D photography at Pendant started about a year ago now. I was having a quiet drink with Martin Ray, one of the trustees of the museum, and he had an idea for producing stereo Viewmaster reels to have as an exhibit in the museum that children could look at to see what their grandparents might have used in their youth. I mentioned that I had taken stereo photographs in the past and still continue to do so just for my own amusement but I'd never actually taken stereo photographs of scale models. I said well I'll have a go and see if we can produce these Viewmaster reels. So that was last July and we did produce the Viewmaster reels and they came out quite well and we thought even better were prints of the uh, 3D images and so um, we produced prints of the 3D images which uh, were then put into an exhibition at the museum at the turn of this year and we also produced a series of images that were taken by the magazine British Railway Modelling and they published a supplement um, of about 16 pictures at the end of the year also. So at the end of the year we had a lot of publicity for the museum from the 3D photographs. I didn't want you to think when you looked at the 3D image that it was actually a model that you were looking at. I wanted you to believe that it was a real scene that you were seeing. And the reason I wanted that was because the scale modeling at Pendant is so wonderfully detailed. What we had to do was imagine that we were actually in the scene and that we were a tiny person in this 3D scene and their eyes would be about one millimeter apart. Now you can't put a camera in the Pendant scene because you're likely to crush one of the models. And so we had to do it from outside and so we had to work out how best to take those shots. If you'd been at the exhibition at the turn of the year, you would have seen the images then. And most people thought that they were um, quite, quite special. We can show things in the 3D photographs that are very difficult for people who visit the mu museum to actually see. And of course, there are a lot of friends of Pendant who aren't able to visit the museum because they live a long way away. Many live abroad. And we wanted to do something to help them also understand uh, more about the modeling and how good it really is. British Railway Modelling Magazine has agreed to publish a further supplement that will be coming out uh, this summer in August and we will also have an exhibition of the 3D photographs towards the end of the year and they will also be published on the Friends website so the friends who've already got their 3D glasses will be able to see the 3D images that we produce over the next few months. Technically speaking it is a challenge taking these pictures. To take a stereo photograph, as I'm doing here at Pendant today, I'll take about 100 shots and then spend several hours on the computer compiling the shots into the final stereo image. A few weeks ago, I gave a presentation to friends about the stereo process that we use here at Pendant. So if you're interested in more of the technical detail, you can see the presentation on the Friends website.